This forecast is powered by Kensington Furniture. Two acres of selections, 106 years of local experience. Hey, good afternoon, South Jersey. Welcome to your lunchtime forecast. I'm Nor'easter Nick. It is cloudy, it is dull, it is blah outside overall. Not a very nice day, especially when you compare it to yesterday with the bright sunny skies. No issues out there, but today you guys are going to have to find the wet weather gear. Maybe not for the majority of this afternoon, but going into tonight, things are going to get quite hairy. It's going to be raining cats and dogs out there. Bichons and tabby cats and poodles. Don't step in a poodle. I cracked myself up. 46 degrees in New York right now, 40 for Washington, 49 in Memphis, 42 in Atlanta, 58 down in New Orleans. We're going to start to tap into some of those warmer temperatures late tonight, going into tomorrow as we're going to climb into the 50s. We could get well into the 50s tomorrow morning. 52 in Mays Landing right now, 51 in Hamilton, 51 in Millville, 52 for Fortescue, and 52s dotting the coastline from Cape May up to the Atlantic City area. Winds still are not that big of an issue. Could get these gusts to 15 or 20 miles an hour at the coast as our low begins to intensify, but it's not going to be a major wind maker at all. So you don't have to worry about really tying things down later tonight. You could get some gust at the coast to 15 or 20 miles an hour, but that's just about it. All right, let's time out the rain for you. A couple spritz or sprinkles possible this afternoon, but generally we're dry. We're just looking at the cloudy skies overhead as the system approaches Maryland, <clears throat> excuse me, and Virginia. We're going to start to see some of these showers become a little bit more widespread late in the afternoon, early evening, and then tonight is when you start to see those greater echoes show up on our radar, and that's going to bring the heavy rain with it. By tomorrow morning, that low is up to our north and west. You're starting to dry out from much of the area. On the back end of the system, you could certainly deal with a couple residual showers, but generally we head in a better direction after tomorrow morning. I think we're going to pick up between an inch and an inch and a half throughout South Jersey. That's impressive because just a few days ago we saw an inch of rain. Stay connected on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can go to my uh, website, nor'easternick.com, and you can download my free SJN TV weather app to stay ahead of it all. 52 this afternoon. Scattered afternoon showers get here. East winds will transition to the southeast at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. 45. Tonight, areas of heavy rain will develop a half of an inch to an inch overnight, and then we could add in a little bit more tomorrow morning. 57 on your Saturday morning rain drying out in the afternoon, and then we are looking better overall for your Sunday, for your football games, partly sunny around 50. Another storm system eyes up our region for Monday, and if it gets here at the same time as the cold air lingering, we could see a transition from a wintry mix, some snow showers over to that plain old rain coming in early Tuesday morning, and then the temperatures come back down after that.